Public folders were available in all previous versions of Exchange Server. Many organizations use public folders as a means of sharing information between groups of users. And with your public folders, multiple users can access a shared folder in Outlook. Now in Exchange 2013, the underlying architecture has been changed entirely, but it doesn't affect the end user. So public folders are now stored in a special type of mailbox called a public folder mailbox. In previous versions of Exchange Server, public folders were stored in a separate public folder database. With 2013, the public folder mailboxes are stored in a regular mailbox database. And the public folder mailbox stores the public folder hierarchy as well as all of the contents. Another advantage of this is that public folder mailboxes can now be stored as part of a database availability group. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to create two public folder mailboxes. So what I've done is I've come to the Exchange Admin Center, I've gone to Public Folders, and I've gone to Public Folder Mailboxes. So we'll select plus at this point here just to create a new one. And I'm going to call this one PFMBX1. I'm going to store it in IT Organizational Unit, and I'm going to store it on Mailbox Database 1. So we'll select Save. And what we'll do is we'll create another one called PFMBX2. So exactly the same process, select new, and I'm going to store that in IT and on Mailbox Database 1, so we'll save this off as well. Right, so we now have our two public folder mailboxes. So now what we'll do is we'll come to public folders, we'll now create some public folders, so we'll just select our new button. And what we'll do here is we'll just create our new public folder. So we're going to create one called departments, so we'll save this off. And what we're going to do is create one for IT. So we'll just highlight departments, click plus here, and we'll create one called IT under departments. And we'll save that off as well. Not only can we do this through the Exchange Admin Center, we can also do it through the Exchange Management Shell as well. So let's just go to the Management Shell. And what we'll do here is we'll just actually get a list of all of our public folders. So we're going to see here's the get hyphen public folder, recurse, and then format list. And when I hit enter, we get lots and lots of information relating to our public folders. So as you can see, quite a bit of information. The other thing we can do from here as well is we can also create new public folders. So all we'll do is clear the screen. So we're going to see here's the new hyphen public folder, hyphen name research, hyphen path will be under departments, and then we're going to create that on mailbox PF MBX2. So as we can see, it's now created that research public folder below departments. Let's just go back to our Exchange Admin Center and all we'll do here is we'll just do a refresh and we can see research at this point here. Next thing we really need to do is set up some permissions to enable users to post information into these public folders. And so what we're going to do here is we're just going to come to our departments folder. So all we'll do here is we'll just go to our parent. Then our parent will just select departments. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to actually specify some folder permissions. We'll just select manage. And what we'll do here is we'll just make administrator the owner. So if we just click on our little drop down here, we'll go for owner, click browse, specify the administrator user, select OK, select save, and we'll ensure that we do actually propagate this to all subfolders as well. And select save. And close this down now and that's the end of this demonstration so we've created some public folder mailboxes created some public folders and applied some permissions to those public folders thank you